Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear from your side. Uh, today, our topic is about if Allah is a true God or not. But before we start, Hello, everyone, and peace oh, of Christ to all of you. I uh, my voice is coming to, to me twice. Hold on, please. Uh, one of you asked me, um, he sent me an email, nice email, a Christian person, uh, asking me not to offend Muslims. And, uh, you know, for me, I, I have to say, sorry, you are wrong. I have to offend everybody, including the Christians. The second you say the truth, my friend, you offend everybody. And I don't care. Maybe you have a wrong understanding of Christianity. Christianity teaches to love others, but doesn't mean you don't offend them. Offending somebody is part of loving others. If somebody is doing wrong, in order to say to him you are wrong and correct him, well, you have to say you are wrong, and that will offend everybody. So I don't know what kind of uh, teaching you are learning, and who told you that a Christian should not offend anyone? A Christian, a real Christian, is the one who offend everybody. Otherwise, he is a hypocrite. So I appreciate the advice. I love the Muslims. I don't hate them, but I am here to offend them. But in order to help them, not it's not the purpose. When I say Jesus is God, they got offended. When I say Jesus died on the cross, they got offended because right away you are saying that their prophet is a liar. So what are you talking about? Not to offend the Muslim. The only way not to offend the Muslim is to convert to Islam. Wake up and don't speak like a fool. And if you are a person who don't offend others when you speak about Christianity, I am telling you, you are no Christian. What do you mean I don't offend anyone? Like I speak to an atheist, what I would say to him. If you say to the atheist, you are not saved, you're offending him. If you say you will go to hell, he, you are offending him. So what I would say to him, oh, don't worry, be happy, you are fine. Look like Christians these days, they have a wrong understanding. In the front of us, we I just to show you an example. Like, did Jesus offend people? Uh, Jesus offend everybody. This is Matthew. The Messiah, he called them snakes, the sons of snakes, the son of the devils. I don't call Muslims sons of the snakes, but they act like snakes. They play games, they lie, they fabricate. They fabricate a story about Christianity. They fabricate stories about people converting. They lie about the Bible. They lie about what Jesus, what happened to Jesus. They lie about the nature of Jesus. So what are you talking about not to offend? Why everybody in the world can offend you, but you are afraid to offend somebody? What kind of people we are? We are afraid to offend them. We need to love them. You are right. It's kind of, you know, what I don't like about what, what people say sometimes, I find it very silly. I'm, I'm not putting this person down, by the way. I'm not talking about him. But look like they don't even know what the Bible is teaching. What's wrong with people? And please, if you think I'm offending and you don't like the way I talk, don't listen to me. And if you are making donation, drop your donation right now. I don't want your dollar. I am not for sale and I am here to offend and the first one I will offend is the devil. If I'm not going to offend people, so what, what I will do? I mean, that means I have to shut up. People are weird and nobody want to use his brain. You see, we have a gift. This gift is given by God. What do you mean don't offend them? And why I will not offend them? Give me give me a reason why I should not offend them. What, what is that? What is the logic of that? Who taught you that if you offend somebody that you mean you hate that person? From where do you get this understanding? You are worried about of being offended, but you are not worried about them going to hell? This is really your worry? Weird.
anyway I am here to offend and the one who don't like the way I talk please don't listen if you donate to me stop your donation immediately and if you are a person who support me I don't want your support and if you think this is not a Christian way to talk please go follow your own way of Christianity because obviously we don't match I am a follower of the Messiah who went inside the temple and he flipped the tables on the Jews did Jesus offend them when he did that Jesus said if you are of your father you do the work of your father if you are of your father Abraham what does that mean he is offending every single one of them and you are worried about offending the Muslims weird seriously weird I don't know who is the one is teaching you in the church but he is teaching you a wrong version of Christianity a Christian who offend no one he is no Christian a Christian who offend no one it's mean he don't say anything he speak with the gay oh he's a gay oh, okay it's okay to be a gay God love you all this is false he speak to the Muslim oh I'm a Muslim and the prophet is a true prophet oh, okay well I respect you I don't respect his religion what do you mean I respect you I don't respect your religion I am Jehovah's Witnesses oh, I respect you believe but I think you are wrong you, you are a hypocrite if you say that I don't respect Jehovah's Witnesses what's wrong with people why you don't dare even to say what you believe the second you say you respect when you say I respect Islam that's mean what you, you mean you respect beating women you respect that people killing Christians and killing Jews and killing Hindus you respect that a man can have sex with, with, with a child do you respect that the man he was going to have endless penis what do you respect exactly what kind of a hypocrite you are either you are you are a person who respect such a cult or you are a person who don't respect there's no so 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 which one you choose to be oh uh, you know okay I don't respect it but I don't have to say it no you have to say it otherwise you are just a hypocrite they are worrying about being truthful I'm not worried about that anyway we go to our topic uh, and let us see what we should talk about hmm. I saw this article and this is from a website called allah.org copying an article from islamiccity.org all right Allah Allah between two bracket God Allah God the God Allah belong 99 names I mean look at this presentation our God have 99 names I mean if you read the names of Allah you will die from laughing the revenge the hater the criminal, the destroyer, the potato, the tomato. I mean, the names of your God is the names of the devil. How in the world you can be even proud about? The, even did you read the names? Do you know how what they mean? It is known fact that every language have one or more terms are that are used reference to God, and sometimes. To lesser deity this is not the case with Allah Allah is the personal name of one true God if, 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 if. I mean look at this presentation guys Allah is one true name oh, hold on hold on first of all your God his name is not Allah and you are an ignorant you don't have an idea who is your God there is nothing is called Allah Al is a word mean God and La is the name of your God, but because you are a copy paste Abdul, you copy Allah. 
al in the ancient Aramaic Aramaic is a word mean God in the ancient Hebrew is the same by time the al became el which mean as we say Israel Ishmael Mikael and the Muhammad the thief he stole the names from the Hebrew so he said Jibreel Ishmael but Jibreel cannot be the name of the God the angel of the God of Allah because if if the God of Islam is the God of Jibreel then Muhammad he should choose its name fit with the Arabic God with the Arabic version with Arabic names I mean why why Jibreel is named by words have nothing to do with Arabic the Muslim they say that it's written on the throne of Allah the Shahada in Arabic so Allah he wrote the Shahada in Arabic la ilaha illallah Muhammad bala la 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 but yet he called his angels names have nothing to do with Arabic for sure there's no explanation except that this Muhammad is a liar thief he stole the names from different books and he put them in his books but he himself he have no idea what even they mean if you ask a Muslim okay what the word Israel mean what is the word Jibreel mean what the word Mikael mean they have names even they collect from other books like Israel Israel okay what those mean they don't know not a single Muslim can explain what those names mean because simply it is a theft it is not his own language oh hold on I should say it should not say it's a theft I should say something else because somebody will think that I'm offending the Muslims yes I am offending the Muslims what's your problem how I can say that this is a theft without saying the word theft you help me how I can tell them that Muhammad is a scammer and he is a thief without saying he is a scammer and a thief? You tell me. So the Muslims, they try to present to us their God and look what they say. Nothing else can be called Allah. The term has no plural or gender. This is shows it's unique when compared with the word God, which can be made plural, gods or feminine. Goddess, it is interesting to notice that Allah is a personal name of God in Aramaic. That's a big fat lie, proving that Muslims are stupid. Where is the reference? Alaha, Alaha is not a word is not a word which is a name you idiot we just said it is a l ha it is the god the god and you just said in your by yourself that this is a unique name for your god but what you quote for me from the aramaic have nothing to do with the name of your god but it is connected i have to admit a l is coming from the aramaic la is coming from the Aramaic but la is the moon God al la al is a word mean God la is the name of the God both are Aramaic words and this is expose you even more why your God name is in Aramaic any Muslim can tell me because all of Islam is a theft when the Muslim they pray what they say they say I mean what I mean is an Aramaic word why are you are you using it it is inserted in the Quran and now they think those Abdul they think it's an Arabic word it's nothing to do with Arabic word this is an Aramaic word Christians Jew everybody use the Aramaic language and as long he said this is an Aramaic word Read careful with me. Notice that Allah is a personal name of God in Aramaic. Question: How Allah is exist in the Aramaic before it is exist in Islam? Any Muslim wanna give us the answer? What is the language Allah He spoke? If you are saying that the first time this word mentioned it was in Aramaic, it's mean Allah He speak Aramaic and He chose His name to be in Aramaic. 
Do Muslims agree with this? Is Allah an Arabic word or it's an Aramaic word? Based on what you gave us, it's an Aramaic, and then I have to agree. It is really an Aramaic. It is Al and La. If we go to chapter 36, verse number one, we will see another Aramaic word appear speaking of Allah. Chapter of Ya Seen. Ya Seen. Ya is a word mean God. Seen is the name of the moon God. And this is Aramaic too. Thank you very much. And look at the smart Abdul. They do not even know what it does mean. Allah knows best what he means by those letters. Those are not letters, but because they are idiots. They do not know that this is an Aramaic language and this is what it is in Aramaic language. Sin is the name of the God of the moon. And Sin became a very popular God as a moon God all over, even in Europe, to the point that even Christians today, when they say uh, this is wrong, they say this is sin. What, what does that mean? Sin simply is a pagan God people used to worship. So a Christian, he said to a Christian, you should not do that for this is sin. I commit, I like I committed sin. What does that mean? I committed something the pagans do, not a true believer. And until now, the Muslim do not know why it is started in the chapter of Ya Sin with Ya Sin. For they are ignorant with the Aramaic language. I hope I'm not offending the Muslims because obviously. I am offending the Christians too. Sound fun, isn't it? Yeah. Now we continue. Uh, guys, don't forget to uh, invite your friends uh, so they can join the offending party. Now we continue with the article and let us laugh a little bit at this logic of the Muslims they come with when they try to present to us Islam, the language of Jesus and the sister of the language of Arabic. Aramaic is the sister. Hmm. That's really funny. Hmm. And okay, let us say it is the sister of Arabic language and, and hmm, what is that? Are you trying to say to us Allah is Aramaic or he is an Arabic? Anyone get it? Until now I got nothing from this. The one true God is a reflection of the unique concept that Islam associate, uh, associate with God. To Muslim, Allah is the Almighty, creator and the sustainer of the universe who is similar to nothing and nothing is comparable to him. I mean, this is a big fat lie the Muslim they keep repeating. I never saw a Muslim don't say the same. They are copy paste. Let us see from the Quran if Allah is the same. You see, did they say in the top that Allah have 99 names? All those names match to human being. Al Azim. Al Azim. The word Azim even used for a goat in the Quran, for a sheep, for a ram. So what do you mean Allah nothing like him? He is calling himself by names of men. If we go to the hadith, and we mentioned this hadith before many times, we find Muhammad describe Allah as a normal man who is fat with big ass and he have a curly hair. So how you say to me nothing to be compared to him? Uh, if we go in the Quran here, in the Hadith, sorry. Read with me how Muhammad, he compare between Allah, the man, and the false Messiah, the man. You can read any interpretation or translation you wish. I don't care. All of them, they are liars and they don't give a true uh, a translation, but we will use the most uh, popular one. All right, uh, I will show you a couple of them as you see in the front of us. 
all those describe Allah as a man and compare him between a false person who claimed to be the Messiah and Allah and the only difference between them which mean between Allah and the false Messiah is the eye you see all those are Sahih Hadith all those in the front of us they are Sahih Hadith look how many and if Allah is not a man I mean why you are need to come to compare between the look of a man and the look of Allah <laughs> Oh boy! Oh. Uh, be careful, brother. Be careful. Allah is not blind in the right eyes, but the Dajjal is blind in the right. But the Dajjal is a man. Why you are telling me Allah is not blind in the right eye, you idiot? If Allah is not a man, the Dajjal, the false Messiah, the Dajjal. When the Muslims speak about the Dajjal, they are speaking about like a man who claimed to be the Messiah. Okay, thank you very much for warning us about the false man he will claim to be the Messiah. That, that is Muhammad. Muhammad, he claimed to be the Messiah. The real Dajjal is Muhammad. He called himself, he changed his name from Qatham and he called himself Muhammad. Do you know what Muhammad means? The praised one. He claimed that he is a divine God. This is what the name Muhammad means. This is why you will find the Muslims, they are so proud about a book they, they claim it is the Bible. It's called the Bible of Barnabas. I'm sure many of you heard of it. The Bible of Barnabas is nothing but a fabrication, but that Bible claim that the Messiah is Muhammad. And this is exactly what Muhammad was trying to do here. He said clearly that he have five names. Muhammad or Ahmad is the first two. And then the eraser. And then al aqib which means the last one. So Muhammad wa Ahmad, what Ahmad mean? What Muhammad mean? The praised one. If Muhammad is the praised one, that means he's God. This is literally what the name Muhammad means. The praise one. You can go right now, search and Google what Muhammad mean. How he can be a prophet, but yet he is the praised one. Who is the one praising Muhammad? Anyone can tell me. I will tell you the Quran say clearly, Allah and the believers and the angels and every Muslim, everybody in this earth are praising Muhammad for his God. Allah is just a toy. Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Yusalluna ala nabi? <laughs> oh boy. I mean, do you see, do you see how humble Muhammad? Inna Allah wa malaikatahu يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما. Remember the whole point of this article to say to you we Muslims worship one God but the fact that you Muslims worship one man his name is Muhammad and the proof is in the front of in front of us in the Quran. The Muslim they say to you that the word you salli here. It mean it does not mean to pray. It means to send a blessing. So I'm going to, I'm not going to uh, like uh, reject this translation for now, just for the sake of argument, just to show you how silly and how stupid Islam is. And I will prove to you, even when they say that this is a blessing, it's a clear proof that Muhammad is the true God of Islam, not Lah or Al Lah, which means the God Lah. We will see the first translation. Read with me, Allah. Yusuf Ali. Allah and his angels send the blessing on the Prophet. Right now, guys, Allah, I don't know if you watch a movie for Santa Claus when he is preparing the gift for the children. And he have like 1,000 midget, uh, uh, you know, what they call them, the elf. They are working for him to prepare the gift in Christmas Day. Muhammad now claiming that Allah and the angels, what they are doing all day long, same blessing, same blessing, same blessing, oh Muhammad, same blessing, same blessing, same blessing, oh Muhammad. I mean, they cannot stop. They cannot resist the temptation to send a blessing. Allah and his angels 
and the believers everybody everybody and not only that all of them they are saluting the prophet the whole world my friend, i mean who's left this is a prophet of god it should be the opposite it should be muhammad and the believers saluting allah and asking allah for a blessing it's the opposite it is allah and the angels and the believers all of them they are sending blessing but hold on what do you mean sending blessing oh ye that believe send your blessing how a muslim can send a blessing i mean this is stupid if god blessed me already who need the blessing of the stupid believers i mean is this is the blessing coming from a believer or the blessing is coming from God when I say to someone bless you I mean may God bless you I don't bless anyone I can't you cannot bless somebody blessing only come from God here it says because the the the, the, interpret, the translation is a stupid they are making Allah as not God, not God because if Allah is just sending the blessing and the angel sending blessing and the believer send the blessing that's mean all of them they can do the same equal thing and what is that sending the blessing so the blessing is coming from where who is the pro producer of the blessing Allah angels believers send the blessing I mean who is the joker here who is the stupid here if God he blessed me that's it I'm blessed and God do not need to send the blessing continue here in Arabic it says you saluna al nabi it's it's continuous verb it's not like one time. <clears throat> if you change the translation, surely Allah and his angels blessed the Prophet. That's fast translation. It says, You saw Luna. Yeah, I in G. Big tal translation. Lu Allah and his angel shower blessing on the prophet. False. It is I in G. And it's not a blessing again. I'm just going with the lie. Muhsin Khan. Allah sends this guy is trying to fix it. Sends his salat. Salat. Look, look like this guy. This guy trying to be more smart. What Allah he sent? Salat. Okay, go right now. Type the word Salat in, in, in any Google and you will see Salat mean a prayer. Between two brackets, grace, honors, blessing, mercy, all of this Allah is sending to Muhammad. And who is, who else? Allah and the angels. And also the angels, how the angels can do that? The guy here between two brackets, he said, ask Allah to bless and forgive him. <laughs> you idiot. If he already blessed him and he sent him the grace and the honor, what is the need of the angels to ask Allah for forgiveness? I'm blessing. I mean, this is madness. The guy, he got the blessing already. I mean, Allah sent him blessing. I did already. No, no, send him more. Allah. Like I did already. I uh, know, forgive him, Allah. I did already. You can send him mercy. Allah. I did already. Don't you see uh, what's wrong with this religion? In this verse, you will notice that Muhammad is the center of the universe, and here we mean the universe of Islam. He is the center, he is God. Everything exists for one reason to serve Muhammad. You remember the hadith we showed you the Muslim page where it says, uh, if, if not you, Muhammad, I will never create the whole universe. And in that article, the Muslim they post tons of reference speaking that if not Muhammad, Allah will not create the stars. The chairs of Allah, the pen of Allah, the tablet of Allah, uh, 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 Adam, even Jesus, Moses, all it is created for the sake of Muhammad. Allah exists for one reason just to make Muhammad happy. 
If you go in the Quran, you will see a funny story, which is very stupid as usual. That Adam, when he committed sin, he received words from his God. He received what? Words from his God. Chapter 2, verse number 37. Adam, he received words from his God and he forgave him. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. He forgave him. Hmm? Now look at this stupid translation. What is that? Then learned Adam from the Lord the words of inspiration and the learned to word toward him. He is of returning. What is the what, what, what it says? What is the word repent, you idiot? It's gone. I mean, how how a Muslim can learn his religion from those translations? I have no idea. Let's try a different translator, different Abdul. Then Adam received some words from his Lord, and then so he turned to him mercifully, surely. Look, what, what is the word repent? It's gone. They are corrupting their Quran. It said Taba, Taba, which means he repent and he accept his repentance. Oh, we have to change translation after translation, hoping that maybe maybe we will find one translation is honest just one at least by mistake hmm. you see finally do you see finally finally it appeared finally one of the translators maybe he was not drinking camel urine he did come with the close to be a correct translation by the way one of you he sent me a video of a guy he was speaking like if you listen to christian prince you will see people in the text saying to the muslims abdul and they keep saying to them stop drinking camel urine abdul which is really nothing but offending huh. okay hold on i mean if drinking camel urine for you is offending why you drink it and why you follow someone he teach you some something stupid like this if somebody says to me you drink Pepsi Cola, uh, okay, so nobody will feel offended, right? So you are blaming them for saying, oh, you are a follower of the guy who ordered you drinking camel urine. So what they will say to them? I mean, isn't it true? Is it a lie? Isn't it true that this is stupid to order people to drink camel urine? We forbid them from drinking wine, but we drink camel urine. From wine to piss, literally piss. I mean, some people are weird. I mean, this is the truth. Don't follow this guy then. If, you know, if somebody says to me, like a Muslim, he says to me, you Christians, you eat the blood of Jesus. You drink the blood of Jesus. That's stupid because we don't. Nobody drink blood. Oh, it's written here, the blood of Jesus. Uh, all of us, we knew. What does that mean? This is a metaphorical statement. I'm not going to be offended if somebody is saying the truth to me and the truth that none of us are drinking the blood of Jesus. We are not uh, 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 like a Dracula, uh, the, the fiction Dracula. And by the way, uh, you know, I don't want to talk about Dracula now. I found that Dracula was a good guy. You know, people, they have a lot of fiction stories about uh, this guy uh, drinking blood. All of it is, is a lie. I mean, this is stupid. But, you know, the whole world, uh, learn, uh, people learn culture and religion from movies. The real Dracula is in front of us. In the books of Al-Azhar, there is a movie, a video, sorry, about an Arabic TV and Egyptian TV. Uh, uh, the, 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 the person in the TV, 
he was showing the books of Al Azhar University, and they were teaching that if somebody if he leave Islam, it's allowed for a Muslim to eat him, but he have to cook him. But if it is not a Muslim, he can eat him without cook. I, I, I'm not sure if the opposite. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe if he's not a Muslim, mm, not sure. Anyway, one of them can should be cooked, and the other one should not be cooked. But uh, however, both of them we can eat them. The Muslim and the ex-Muslim. Now we go back to this chapter here. Then Adam he received from his Lord words, and his word burdened him. Okay, I mean, how stupid this religion is. His Lord burned in him, and then he said to him, Get down. <laughs> Actually, this is not why I, I'm, I'm mentioning this, but like, look at the verse after it. I mean, look at, look at the stupid Quran. Somebody he asked me for forgiveness, and I forgive him, and yet I said to him, Get down. Which means get out of heaven because supposed in Islam the heaven was up in the sky. Get down, all of you. All of you who? Adam and Eve and Satan. But here, the reason I'm saying that the true God in Islam is Muhammad, Adam he received words from his uh, 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 from his Lord, but you know the Quran, as usual, it's a stupid book. Does not explain anything. Okay, what words here is what happened? What is the conversation happened? What exactly with him now? In order to understand this, we go and we find that it says that in the Hadith it says that when Allah He got angry from Adam and He wanted to kick him out of heaven, Adam remembered that when Allah created him, He left His head up and He saw. The name of Muhammad written the Shahada to make it simple the Shahada that's there is no God but Allah and there is no uh, tribe molester but Muhammad was written on the chair of Allah. So Adam said to Allah, Please Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. Forgive me what? For the sake of Muhammad. And then Allah he said to him, How you know about Muhammad? Like, what? How you know about him? I did not create him yet. So Adam, he said to him, Yeah, but when you created me, O oh Lord Allah, I saw his name in your chair, and right away I know he must be the most beloved person for you. So Allah, he said to him, You are right. He is the most beloved person for me. And because of that, I'm going to forgive you. And this is exactly what Adam here received from his Lord. He received information that the name of Muhammad written in that chair. This is how stupid this religion is. Again, if you want the reference, this is chapter 2, verse number 37. If you want to, you can go read some interpretation for the verse because Muslim they might say, Oh, where do you get this from? Or you can search for the hadith where it says, Lawlaka ma khalaqtul aflak. Lawlaka ma khalaqtul aflak. If not you, I created nothing. The whole universe not created. If we go here, We go to chapter 2, verse number 37. Then Adam received from his words, Lord, words. Adam said, Oh Lord, didn't you create me with your own hands? I said, yes. He said, and blow into me. He said, yes. And when you, I sneezed, you said, may Allah grant you his mercy. <laughs> What happened exactly? I mean, look at the details. Allah, do you remember Allah? Allah, please hold on. Do you remember when I did ha, 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 hurt you and you said to me, Bless you? Allah said, Yes, I remember that. I mean, is that a cartoon? 
And then Allah, he said to him, may Allah grant you his mercy. Who, uh, Allah says, may Allah grant you his mercy. Allah says that. How Allah, he say, may Allah grant you his mercy. As, aren't you Allah? I mean, the donkey who wrote this story, do he have a brain? I am a Christian prince, and I say, may Christian prince grant you his mercy. Hello, you are a Christian prince. Did you forget who you are? And then Allah says to him, does your mercy uh, uh, proceed uh, uh, your anger? He was told, yes, Adam said, and you destined me to commit this evil act. He told, he was told, yes, look, look at this guys. Look at this madness. I didn't know what to say. Adam is saying to Allah, you are the one who made my fate to commit evil. And then Adam, he says to him, I, if I repent, you will send me back to paradise. <laughs> but he is still in paradise. Guys, he's still in paradise. What's wrong with you? And if Allah is the one who put in the destiny of Adam to commit this evil act, why even Adam is out of paradise? Allah is the one who made him do evil. Yet he is a thrown out of paradise. We should throw Allah out of paradise, not Adam. Because the one who caused the other one to commit it has a fate, which means Adam cannot stop that. There is a powerful being here involved. Supposedly, his name is Allah. He is the Almighty God. And he is the one who made a destiny for Adam to do evil. Yet Allah, because he is all about justice, he threw Adam out of heaven. And now Adam need to repent. Do you understand me, guys? I think this uh, chat room running here in the background. Let me mute this thing here. <sighs> ah, I should not read Ibn Kathir because that will make Islam look stupid. And if I make Islam look stupid, the Muslim will feel that they are stupid and if the Muslims they feel they are stupid then I am offending the Muslims and if I am offending the Muslims some Christians will be offended I forgot please please accept my apology I should not say that this is obviously a fabricated story because that will offend somebody and the somebody will offend somebody until somebody offend a Christian person who will send me email saying you are offending the Muslims. Mm. Do we have any Muslim here? You have an objection about what I said. I mean, look, guys, do you see it? Is it clear for you? Is the text clear from your side? I know if you can read it. Let me please if it's clear. And you, this to need me to commit this evil act what allah he said did he say no look what he said look what allah said he said he was told yes like what this is islam and this is the almighty god who teach justice <laughs> your justice is amazing I want, I'm so thin. I feel I'm gonna convert to Islam after I learned this. Allah He destined for made a destiny to Adam to commit evil, and Allah punished Adam for doing what He made at this destiny for him. And then the poor Adam said to Allah, Please, Allah, if I for, if I repent, you will let me back to paradise. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
I love it. I don't know how smart to be Abdul. What is justice? What is justice? Based on this, the real evil is Allah. It is not Adam. If we continue down, it says, Allah, He is the one who forgive and accept repent repentance. Mm. And then he says something very funny and very stupid to make it even more more stupid. No, they not that Allah accept repentance from His servants. And whoever does evil or wrong, wrong or wrong himself. Okay, but the one who does evil here is Allah, for it was Allah who made a destiny for Adam. To do evil, as you see from the Muslim translation and from the Muslim rules. If we go and search, let us switch to English. Hadith Low Laka. It is in the top, but in the other day I tried to open uh, the website. It took me for like a uh, scam. Let us see. Where we can't find hadith low okay. maybe let us see this website for some reason that one is taking me for a bad website. Where it's not for you. I would not have created the creation. Isn't it amazing? All the creation Allah created is just for the sake of Muhammad. But I still, this is not what I'm looking for. You see, if I try to open this one, I tried last time, it took me to a bad website. But we will give it a chance again. Uh, see, I don't know. It's a pharmacy. It looked like it's hacked by somebody. I don't know. Hadith Ilulaka. Hmm. Let's see this one. Let us try. The whole universe was created for what? This is a Muslim asking question. This is an article. What is the reason for creation in the world? Huh? It was Muhammad. When Adam, here we go, I found it. Let me make it bigger as text. because Muslims they might say to you uh, 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 he's lying it doesn't say that when Adam committed his mistake what mistake it says evil he said oh my Lord I'm asking you for forgive me me for the sake of Muhammad I think this is not working here I need to call Zakir Naik Brother Tatab, someone asking 
about how brother Adam, our father, how he committed sin and he was forgiven. Just to assure you that the most important person in the universe is our prophet Peter upon him. When a brother Adam, our father, he committed sin. He said, oh my Lord, I'm asking you to forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. Allah said, oh Adam, oh Adam. And there is actually a version of a song, you can find it in England, it's called Oh Mommy. Oh Mommy, Mommy Blue. Oh Adam, how do you know about Muhammad? And Allah here was so surprised. I mean, look at this Allah, Allah is surprised. Oh Adam, how do you know about Muhammad? Allah himself, he could not believe it. Adam, Khabibi Adam, how do you know about Muhammad? How you know? I can imagine at that moment Allah eyes is coming out like a frog. Like what? Muhammad? How you know about Muhammad? And whom I not have not created yet. I mean, put yourself in the shoes of Allah in this moment. Or put yourself in the tooth of a brother, uh, a brother sister. Allah himself, he could not believe it. How in the world a brother Adam, our father, he was able to recognize the prophet Muhammad and yet he did create it. The answer is very simple. Adam replied, and focus with me please about the reply of a brother Adam. He said, oh my Lord, after you created me with your hand and breathe into me of your spirit, I read up my head and I saw written with highlight on the throne. La ilaha illallah Muhammad al-Dulullah. You see guys what 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 Adam he saw in the throne? He saw this. La il uh, and Adam he he learned he knew Arabic. I mean look at this. This guy he's born, he know how to read Arabic. Muhammad he spent 40 years of his life before he became a prophet, and yet he did not know how to read his name. But Adam he is just created. Uh, and Allah, he just breathed into him and Adam, he sneezed, Hatsu. and then he raised his head up and he saw the Sahada and he was able to read the name of Muhammad. Unbelievable. I mean, this is so true. I don't, I hope not, guys, how many of you, be honest, is feeling like you want to convert to Islam? Hmm? Someone saying anyone do take Zakir Naik seriously. My friend, this is not about Zakir Naik. This is about those idiots who believe in this religion. This is not Zakir Naik. Well, this is Muhammad speaking here. Muhammad Zakir Naik is just an idiot. He's you know he's making a business. Actually, Zakir Naik is a smart part person. He live like he live like a king. Coming from a poor country, you know what he will be. Now he is very rich. It is not him who is lying here. It is Muhammad. Because this is what Muhammad told him. So Adam, he saw in the throne in Arabic, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Azulullah. So when Allah, and the story here continue. Uh, uh, Adam, he continues saying, I understood that you would not place next to your name but the most beloved one to your creation. Look, the Muslims admitted that Allah himself associate his name with the name of a man. And Muhammad claimed, this is a story coming from who? From Muhammad. That his name and the name of Allah is in one line. And Allah himself is the one who wrote the name of Muhammad next to his name. So Muhammad is making himself equal to Allah. You see, remember Muhammad, supposedly Allah have 124,000 prophets. Why only the name of Muhammad? Because this is the most beloved person. Allah, Allah is crazy about Muhammad. Allah, when he sleep, he cannot imagine himself not thinking about Muhammad. He wake up in the morning before he make coffee, he say Muhammad. He tried to sleep, he look at the name of Muhammad. He wanna, if you if you check the ring of the, the phone tone of, of Allah, it is, that's what do you think Muhammad anyone Muhammad is the most beloved person for Allah 
Muhammad is the center of the universe. The first thing Allah he wrote before even he created Adam, before he created the universe, he wrote the name of Muhammad. Yes, brother, the whole universe is created for him. He is the purpose of life. Why Allah is exist? For the sake of Muhammad. Why Allah made heaven and earth and sky and cockroaches and pigs for the sake of Muhammad. Let us continue. It was transmitted through many chains and was cited by those are the reference supposedly and this and this and this and this and this. And then he continued here saying, <clears throat> I don't know what to say. What you will read? What you will read? I don't know. Had not had it not been for the prophet the world heaven would not have been which mean been exist you have asked me by virtue of the prophet to burden you surely i have burdened you see allah could not resist he said for the sake of muhammad had not been for the prophet i would not have been created you allah the most high said by my might and glory had not been for you Muhammad I would not have created the heavens and had did not been created for, been for you Muhammad I would not have created the earth Allah blessed him revealed to Isa here we go Isa I have to be involved in the story I mean Isa are you kidding me Isa have to be there Isa have to witness for Muhammad. The whole universe exists for Muhammad. Allah said to Isa, Alayhi salam. You see, the Muslim, when they speak about Muhammad, they say, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because Allah pray on Muhammad. When they say Isa, they say, Alayhi salam, which means peace on him. You know? Did you see, did you see how they lie even when they translate? When, when we ask them, okay, uh, what uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mean? They say, uh, no, it doesn't mean that he pray on him. No, it says a blessing. So why you are saying peace on him and Isa? And you say, you why Muslim don't say peace alayhi salam to Muhammad? Have you ever heard of Muslim saying Muhammad alayhi salam? No. Because Muhammad is God. Allah pray on him. Then he continues saying, that Allah revealed to Isa alayhi salam, Believe in Muhammad. Isa have to believe in Muhammad. Are you kidding me? He have to. If Isa did not believe in Muhammad, he will go to hell. Uh -huh. And then he said, Allah said to Isa, Believe in Muhammad and instruct those among your followers who met him to believe in him. If Isa, he instruct me to believe in Muhammad. Indeed. Allah continue now. Indeed, I had not been, had not had it not been for Muhammad, I would not create Adam. And had it not been for Muhammad, I would not create the hellfire. As simple as that. More hadith. Let us see more hadith. <clears throat> uh, Kathir, they were not for you Ibn, Ibn Asakir he said if we're not for you I would not create the word Jibreel came to me the prophet said Jibreel come to me and said O Muhammad were it not for you paradise would have not been created and were it not for you fire would not be created muhammad is the reason for everything in this world the galaxies everything stars narrated by blah 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 i ask oh allah messenger 
when you wear first when what when you wear first what do you mean let us see the prophet he replied when Allah he created the earth then he turned to heaven and fashioned it seven heaven what and created the throne he wrote on the leg of the throne Muhammad the messenger of Allah the seal of the prophet <laughs> oh boy Al guys Allah is busy creating the galaxies huh he finished now the seven heavens there are seven seven heavens seven planets uh, in seven we are stuck with the number seven what we can do right away Allah he wrote on the leg of his throne what he wrote Muhammad Rasulullah and he is the seal of the Prophet I have a question to the Muslims Allah he wrote that to who I mean to himself he look every day at the leg of his chair what is that and then look then Allah created the garden which he made Adam and Hawa the will and he wrote my name on the gate it is a three leaves it is demon and tent and at time at a time when Adam was still between the spirit and the body when Allah the most high instilled life into him he looked at the throne and he saw my name do you see how humble Muhammad is Adam he claimed Muhammad he claimed that uh, how Muhammad he got this information from my friend Allah told him all the secrets are being taught to Muhammad he don't need to have be, to be there so when Allah he created Adam Adam he looked up at the throne and he saw my name whereupon Allah informed him that he Muhammad is the Lij Lord of all your descendant when Satan did deceive both which mean Adam and Eve they repented and th and thought or sought of intercession to Allah with my name that's Muhammad speaking about that and this is written by Ibn Jawzi and this is the refer reference any Muslims you want to fool us you want to say that you worship a God and he is the Almighty God you are obsessed with the man obviously this man he is your God you never saw Allah Muhammad he never spoke to Allah but yet he claimed that Allah he worship him I mean this is an act of worship God he created the whole universe for a man his name is Muhammad created the skies the stars the trees the the animals the human us Adam Adam himself is not created unless it is for Muhammad so based on this story Allah himself is exist to make one person happy that is Muhammad for everything he do is for the sake of Muhammad if I say right now and by the way I believe strongly that Muhammad is a false person who tried to to say he is the he's the Messiah you remember in the Bible it says for him by him and for him everything was created by him and for him everything was created this is what Muhammad is saying Allah created everything for me what is missing to say by me the whole universe and then they make articles say to you we don't worship Muhammad we worship a God one God his name is Allah but but Allah is ex the existence of universe according to Islam is not based on Allah is based by a man of his name is Muhammad if not Muhammad you people will not be exist
And who is the one who told this story? It is Muhammad. Remember, the person here in the question is asking Muhammad, where you been first? Like, where you been when Allah created the world? Do you notice the question? So Muhammad is answering about where he was when the whole universe created. Muhammad, he confirmed that he was there. He was as a name. And the whole world, Allah plan, Allah have a plan that he want to create a universe just for Muhammad. Adam, human being, mankind, angels, uh, uh, stars, sky, earth, animals, everything created for one person, not for Allah, for Muhammad. And in the top of that, Allah forgives sin for the sake of Muhammad. So if you want to forgive your sin, don't seek Allah. Seek the name of Muhammad. For Allah cannot resist forgiving sin if you use his name. But if you ask Allah for forgiveness without using the name of Muhammad, you will not be forgiven. This is the whole message. That I am God, worship me, I am Muhammad, I am your intercession, and I am the only way for you to go to heaven. God created the whole world just for me. And yet the Abdul, they lie to themselves and lie to us, saying we don't worship a man. We worship God. If we continue, actually the story is here is really unique. Maybe I should pause for you some reference from this website. But anyway, actually there's some videos too. I mean, that's amazing. Oh, 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 oh. oh Isa, believe in Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And who is ever from your ummah, which means from your nation, finds him with should uh, uh, should believe on him if I had not created Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then I would not have created Adam. If not for him, I would not have created paradise or hell. When I made the throne on water, it is started to shake. What, what? Guys, Allah, he put the throne, he have his throne over the water. The throne of Allah is shaking. Allah wanted to fix the throne from shaking. How we can stop the shaking? I wrote, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad, you are the messenger of Allah. Due to that, it became still. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do that next time I go and use a fishing boat. I don't have a boat. I wish one day I would buy one, but look like this is the trick. If you want to go in the ocean and the ocean have too much waves and you want to have your boat not to shake and stay still, right what i mean allah allah the almighty he have a problem his throne is shaking how we can fix that i mean put yourself in the shoes of allah you are in a boat and in the middle of the ocean and your boat is a chair or in the shape of a chair and it is shaking how you fix the problem how we fix the problem? How we fix the problem? Please, please, if any of you feel like he is converting or want to convert to Islam, don't hesitate. I mean, this is a golden opportunity for you, all of you, to become a Muslim. This is something cannot be repeated twice. What's wrong with this religion? Allah's throne is shaking. And because Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad on the throne, the chair stopped shaking. So Allah power 
is not enough to stop it, but the name of Muhammad was able to stop it? Obviously, Muslims don't worship Muhammad. Mm. Do we have any Muslims saying anything in the comment? I'm looking at the chat right now. Let me see if there's anything happening. Please, if any of you feel like committing uh, committing uh, so, uh, shahada, not suicide, sorry, shahada, please let me know, okay? I mean, you see, even Allah himself, he cannot fix problem without the name of Muhammad. I mean, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? It's clear. Allah have a problem. His chair is shaking. And he cannot sit in it like, imagine you have a chair in the top of the water and shaking. How you, like, um, uh, this is disgusting. First, you will start having a stomach uh, pain and then you will vomit. Do you want Allah to vomit? There is no way. Allah, uh, Allah and his God and his vomiting. The almighty God, his chair is shaking and we found the reason for the chair is shaking because the chair is saying, no, 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 no. You cannot sit on me unless you put the name of Muhammad. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You put the name of Muhammad, you can sit at me. Otherwise, I will start shaking and I will not stop shaking. So Allah, he wanna sit. I mean, he made a chair for what? Hey, by the way, uh, the Muslim, they say, Allah is not a man. Okay, Allah is not a man. He have a chair. Who is sitting on the chair and why he have a chair? Huh? Huh? Chair? Hmm. What is the purpose of having a chair? Is that a physical chair? Yes. Is that a spiritual uh, meaning? No. This is real water. This is really chair. This is real Muhammad. And this is supposedly the real Allah. Let us continue. And look here, guys, look, look what it says. Has a hadith on Sahihul Isnad. There is no doubt that this hadith is true. Sahih chain. That's it. I mean, that's it. It's Sahih, brother. This is Sahih. Don't tell me uh, it is weak, please. I mean, come on. So, some respect. Allah created the universe due to him which means Muhammad were it not for him he would not he would have neither created the throne nor the footstool nor a heaven or earth or sun or a moon that's it Muhammad brother I mean and those Christians they say to you it, Muhammad is not important are you fooling yourself Muhammad is the most important person Uh, this is an Arabic here. Let us see what else. Jibreel came to the Prophet and he said to him, uh, Come to me and said, Allah says. If you were not created, I would not have made the heaven or the hell. We don't want to repeat the same garbage over and over, but I mean, that's really beyond stupidity. Allah said, lift your head. And he lifted his head and he saw the nur, the nur, which means the light of the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the throne. Look at this now. Adam, he was just created. Allah told him, lift your head up. Adam, he looked up and he saw the light of the Prophet Muhammad on the top of the throne of Allah. Just to make it simple for you, brother, the Prophet, he was the LED light for the throne of Allah in the top of the throne 
And you are telling me that Muhammad is not worshipped in Islam? Hmm? Did we miss something here? When Allah made Adam, he revealed to Adam to ask him, Oh Allah, why you have made me my kuniya as Abu Muhammad? For those who do not know, I mean, that when they write in English, it's funny. It's kuniya, kuniya. Allah, when he created Adam, do you know what he called him? He called him Abu Muhammad. <laughs> I don't know. Stupidity is amazing. Stupidity is amazing. I feel sad for this, this the, those people. Honestly, I mean, how many, how many idiot die, kill himself for this madness, pagan cult, man worshiping, man made religion. Allah, He called Adam Abu Muhammad. And Adam is asking Allah, why you call me Abu 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 in, uh, in Arabic is copied from the Aramaic language and the Hebrew. Abu I mean the father. So Abu Muhammad. What is the name of Muhammad? Adam? Abu Muhammad, which means the father of Ad Ad Muhammad. So Adam is asking, why you call me this way? How? Why? Allah said, Oh Adam, lift your head up. He lifted his head. And he saw the light of the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the Arsh. And supposedly this is the reason he called him Abu Muhammad. Are you stupid or what? Don't you see the light of Muhammad in the top of me? Even Allah himself, he got his light. The source of light for Allah is Muhammad. Where Allah he got his light from? From Muhammad. Don't you see it? I don't know. I don't know who is this stupid here. The purpose of Islamic articles is to fool you, to be to make you believe that we have God. And you know the funny when the Muslim they say, We believe in one God, one God. First of all, who cares if he's one or ten? You know, the idea of one God, like we Christians, we believe in one God too, but this is not a big deal. I mean, it's it, it, our God, is a, a we believe, is a true God, not because he is one. What if God is not exist as God, but there is gods? That will not change anything. To make it simple, what if there is ten gods? Is that will make any difference? No. Still, they are God and you, they are exist. If, if this is what the truth. So, it, it, saying I believe in one or believe in two or believe in three, that will not change anything. The question is, what you believe in, is it true or not? And based on what you just told me here alone, is enough to prove that Islam is a fiction and it's a lie. A man praising himself, making God serving him, everything is exist. It is for and because of this man. Allah Himself, He have no light. His light is coming from Muhammad. Read with me carefully. Allah said, Adam, lift your head. He lifted his head and saw the nur, the light of the Prophet of Allah. Where? On the arsh, on the throne of Allah. Muhammad, he is a light. He is a light. And Muhammad here trying to copy Jesus where he said, I am the light of the world. And, uh, Alam. and not only that, Muhammad, the madman Muhammad, he confirmed that in the Quran. He claimed that Allah, he sent him as light, as a lamp. This is why the Shia, they believe that Muhammad and his families are not a human. They are made of light. And before they became a human or in the shape of a human, they wear light in the forehead of Allah. And what is the base in it? It says there that he was a light on the throne of Allah. If we go in the Quran, 
you will find the following. وَدَاعِينًا إِلَى اللَّهِ بِإِذْنِهِ وَسِرَاجًا مُنِيرًا Chapter 33, verse number 46. Allah claimed that Muhammad is the light of the world. He is a Siraj and Munira. Supposedly to ask people to believe in him, but he is the light. <clears throat> and as one who invites to Allah, grace by his leave, and as a lamp spreading light. Nah, stupid translation, but anyway, who cares? We told the correct translation already. He is light. And this is exactly what is explained in this website. And the rest of the stories are the same. Everything is created for Muhammad, the sky, the earth, a human being, the mankind, as you see. Tons of stories, all is told by Muhammad. What kind of cult we are talking about? I don't know what I, I don't know if I, how I can continue reading this garbage and how in the world people believe in it. And how in the world people they worship it you see here they have a picture for the kaaba and the light is coming from the kaaba by the way the muslims in their islamic tv they said that when the american they went to the seven galaxies heaven like moon whatever they saw a light coming from mecca connected all the way to the throne of allah but they hide that in the news they publish it for 21 days in the internet and then they delete it from the internet but at that time when the first time the american went to the moon um, internet was not exist for public before I start today uh, uh, my broadcast I was watching an Arabic uh, program uh, a Muslim Sheikh he claimed uh, you know there is a there is an uh, 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 Middle Eastern Christians I think he is Syrian uh, he wrote a book he is a, he's a priest in Orthodox Church I'm not sure if it's Orthodox or Catholic. Anyway, so he wrote Exposing Islam, and uh, uh, his last name is Al Haddad. Uh, the Sheikh he claimed that the priest Al Haddad called him and told him, a Brother, a Brother, I ask Allah for forgiveness because of the books I wrote Exposing Islam. As we speak today, I cannot even go to the bathroom. I piss on myself as a punishment from Allah. But this guy, he said that this guy, he called him asking for forgiveness from Allah. But he, the idiot, the Muslim Abdul, the Muslim cleric, he do not know that this guy, he died when he was a few years old. Which means the sheikh who is saying that this guy called him he do not know that this guy was dead when he was not even 10 years old. I mean, do you see how they fabricate lies? This guy, he called you, asking for forgiveness for right. I will not be surprised if Muslims, after I die, like 50 years after I die, they will say, Christian Prince, he called us from the grave, using his cell phone or the internet or maybe Skype. Asking Allah for forgiveness for he wrote books against Allah and his prophet. <sighs> the same guy, he said, I'm just sharing you with you how they lie, those people. They have no shame. I'm, I'm talking about Islamic sheikhs, the big religious people. They are not like YouTube guys. Those are big names. This guy he claimed that the the niece of Zakaria Butros. If you do not know who Zakaria, Zakaria is a is a Christian Coptic priest in the Coptic Church. Uh, he made many programs exposing Islam and the stupidity of this cult. So this guy, the Sheikh, he claimed 
that the niece of Zakaria Butros, she called him life, uh, sorry, she called him at home, and she announced Sahada, and she became a Muslim. Okay. The news published it, the newspaper published it, uh, the niece of Zakaria Butros became a Muslim, she called Zakaria Butros, he heard the news, he died from laughing because his sister, he have a sister, but she have no kids. <laughs> his sister she don't have boys or girls and she is not even married oh, really? oh. Uh, tomorrow they will say the son of Christian Prince converted to Islam I'm not married you idiot I don't have kids that they converted to Islam. Like, do you think that? Uh, I love you, Abdul. I really, really love you, Abdul. You are the best entertainment ever. Entertainment, not entertainment. Imam Sheikh Ibrahim said, "If the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam had remained, none exist." then the universe would not come to be i mean who can say this is not a throw muhammad is the essence of life muhammad is the reason of life muhammad is the reason for the rain for the oxygen for the hydrogen for the water for the fish for the dolphin for the whales for the scorpion for the cockroaches for the so i'm just going to count the holy creatures all of those I, I don't, I, I, it's going to take me like a billion years to finish the names of the creatures are existed created for the sake of muhammad True story. Allah said to Adam, If Muhammad had not existed, I would not have created you, Adam. Now, so Adam, what he would do? He would say, Thank you, Muhammad. Thank you for your existence. Otherwise, I will not be exist. Please, man. I see the thank you. Thank you, Prophet Muhammad. It's you the reason for me to exist. All of us, we should be doing that. You should bow down right now and pray for Muhammad, for he is the reason for our existence. It's not Allah's reason. It is Muhammad. Adam is the father of all men, and whatever is in earth has been created for man. So when Adam was created due to the existence of the Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then it is obvious, it is obvious, brother, that the whole world was created due to him. Hence, the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the cause and the reason for all existence. I feel like jumping from the window, but it's not worth it. I mean, I am in the first floor. I mean, if I am in the in the fifth floor, that will make sense. But in the first floor, I mean, what the point? Oh, I want to study Arabic. Can you teach me, my friend Dragon? I have tons of videos in the same channel. Go to the old videos, and you can learn Arabic. It's for free. All right. For some reason, you notice that it's for free. Nobody will learn. Uh, all those references as you see speaking that Muhammad is the reason for the existence and obviously Muslims they worship one person that it is Muhammad uh, only an ignorance or ignoramus will argue against the authenticity uh, the authenticity of this subject matter you see if somebody refused to accept this is a muslim they call him ignorant if a muslim want to say those hadith are weak he is ignorant that is the prophet of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the reason for the creation it is due to him that allah the almighty created the universe 
So the Muslims calling the one who will deny this an ignorant, stupid, idiot. Hmm. Here we go. You have Omar Bervez. Bervez. He agree with this that we are exist because of Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad the child molester, Muhammad the thief, Muhammad the criminal, Muhammad the rapist, Muhammad the liar, Muhammad the, the, the homo. I mean, name one thing ugly in this earth he, he did not do. And the whole universe is made for him. Hmm. If the beloved Prophet Allah of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was not to exist in this earth, Arsh, Kursi, Allah, al Kalam, look, 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 even the Kajit of Allah will not exist. Okay, why Muslims who want to tell me why? Why if Muhammad not exist Allah will not have a chair Allah will not have a tablet and Allah will not have a pen And by the way, why Allah even have a pen and a tablet anyone any Muslim want to explain to us? Eh, anyway, let it go now. Why Allah will not have those if Muhammad not exist who want to give us the answer? Hmm? Who is a Muslim want to give us the answer? Ibn Abdul, why Allah will not have a chair? I mean, Allah will be standing until now. Why? Allah will not have a chair. Allah will not have a tablet. Allah will not have a pen. And here we notice that Allah, he need a tablet and he need a pen. And his pen is so big and his tablet is so huge. Actually, the width of the tablet of Allah is 500 years and it's located between the eyes of the angel Israfil. Any Abdul? No Abdul. Allah, according to Muhammad, is a fat man and he is short. When the Muslims they try to describe their God, they always fail, for they are a bunch of ignorance who do not know that their God obviously is a man. If we go and see what Muhammad said, you will notice that Muhammad confirmed that Allah is a man. The Prophet Saw Saw said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal. Who is the Dajjal? He's a man. This is the false Christ. He is a man. Okay. That I'm afraid that you might not understand. The Antichrist is short, thin, uh, uh, hinted, uh, woolly haired, one eyed, and, and, and eye sightless, and neither protruding uh, nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. The difference between the man who is going to be claiming to be the Messiah and the true Lord of Islam, Allah, is one eye. So both are men. Otherwise, I challenge any Muslim to tell me how in the world this was work. Why Muhammad comparing between a man and God and he is saying the difference between them that that man, he have a problem with the right eye. <laughs> any Abdul have an answer? Anyone? You see, I'm today. I'm invited actually to do a live podcast with the brothers uh, uh, Amir and uh, uh, the rest of the brothers there. But uh, I told them I my uh, my my throat really dry, and I don't want to uh, speak long. And already I'm speaking long, but I could not resist the temptation, the temptation of knowing the truth about that God created everything for us and Allah is a man and he is Muhammad the story is very simple what Muhammad is saying to us that I am God worship me Allah himself is exist for my sake Allah exists is just to make me happy Allah has no reason there's no other reason for Allah to exist except to worship me and to serve me. 
my name is in the throne my light is above Allah as we showed you in the hadith here the reason for the whole work of Allah is just for me Allah he ex exists to serve me this is what is behind all of this this is what it says clearly that Allah he have no reason to exist except of Muhammad he is the light of Allah Allah's throne was shaken without the name of Muhammad you see Muhammad did not say my throne was shaken so I wrote the name of Allah to fix it it is the opposite Allah throne was shaken so Allah he wrote the name of Muhammad on his throne and that stopped the throne from shaking Allah was in darkness but the light of the Prophet Muhammad he made him have light Allah said to Adam lift your head he lifted his head and he saw the nur the light of the Prophet of Allah on the arsh on the throne of Allah Muhammad himself is light above Allah Allah he take guidance Allah has a light and this light is coming from Muhammad it is in the top of the throne not under the throne and that have a very clear meaning that the light of Muhammad is above the authority of Allah above the authority of the chair the chair when we say the light of Muhammad is up on the chair on the throne that is mean Muhammad is the true authority and he is the light of the world and Allah is just a little tiny puppy what do you want more as a proof that Allah is a servant of Muhammad and Muhammad is God what is the water story hold on I want to go because somebody is sending to me where is the water oh, hold on where is the water you think I'm lying you think I'm lying shame on you here we go Al Hakim from Ibn Abbas said that he guarded the Sahih blah 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 Allah revealed to Isa the following believe in Muhammad Isa so Allah told Jesus believe in Muhammad and order all of those of your community which means the Christians like me who sees him to believe in him for it would near it, it uh, were it not for Muhammad I would not have a created Adam nor a created paradise and then he continues saying, nor fire when I created the throne Allah now giving us the reason how important Muhammad is when I created the throne upon the water I shuddered so I wrote upon it okay what he wrote about it la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah Allah he wrote the shahada then the story continue saying when I made the throne on water it is started to shake I wrote who's talking Allah La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah and do to which it became still. See what the name of Muhammad can do. Throne of Allah is shaking. That's mean the authority of Allah is shaking. Throne, uh, yes, here it is literally a throne, physically a throne, because it, remember the Quran says that the throne of Allah will be carried and Allah will be carried by eight and supposedly those are eight angels have each one of them have four faces of four animals so this is a literate lit, literally it's a chair but this chair is so huge and so big in the size of the sky and the earth and yet this huge throne is shaking in the top of the water 
and the name of Muhammad brought stability to the chair. This is how powerful the name of our Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. You write his name anywhere, every problem will be solved. And uh, soon I'm going to go and find a, a boat. I'm going to cross the ocean and right away if any storm happened, I'm going to write the word Muhammad on my boat and my boat will be very fixed. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to say, how a human being can be such a stupid creature. See, sometimes I look and I observe life around me, animals, birds. You see, sometimes we make fun of animals or, you know, but animals, they, they make more sense. I mean, they do things for a reason. A human being, he do things for no reason. It's stupid. How a man with such a lie in 2018 make him, you make him your controller. Isn't it obvious that this man is making you worshipping him? A man who is disgusting, not even, you see, if Muhammad applied to work in the post office, he don't have a qualification because number one qualification to work in the post office is to be decent, to be honest. If we put Muhammad in the post office, the first thing he would do, he would steal the mail, he would steal the, the, the gifts. He will take the checks you receive for your payment. And the funny, they say to us, Muhammad is the trustworthy. He was called in his time as Sadiq. I mean, what a big fat liar. People, they call him a liar. Why they are saying to him, you are not a prophet? That's me, they are saying to him, you are a liar. Give us a sign. What's Sadiq al -Amin? The trustworthy, the truthful. People call him this way. Where? Uh, anyway, I think we had enough for today, guys. Did you have enough for today? Did you Did you have enough for today? Uh, please don't forget to share our videos and download them. I don't care really uh, who of you will download them. My videos is for free. Uh, I am the last one who care about how many. I saw some of you have maybe 20 times more subscribers from the channels I have because as you know, I have many channels and because they keep flagging me, I keep channel. I don't care really. I will be happy if you have a million subscribers using only my videos and I have one subscriber. I don't care. I don't work for my own glory. Download my videos, share them, save as many as you can. This is the most stupid religion, and all of us, we have to work together to stop the danger of this cult. People are dying every day we speak because of this cult. Go just yesterday, just in Europe, see how many attacks happened in the last week. Yesterday, an attack in Spain, a guy he entered with the knife into police station when I killed the police and they shot him dead. The day before, a guy he attacked in the parliament of England. The day before, a guy in, in Netherlands. The guy before, every, every day there is something. Burning schools in Afghanistan, trying because they want to kill anyone who is, is a teacher. Imagine, they, they want to they wanna close all the schools. They are, oh, Satan is controlling the world, my friends. And people are dying literally this is not you might laugh for some time you might think this is a joke you might think this is a comedy this is a very dangerous cult people dying because of this filthy scumbag Muhammad those people they don't want to use their brain and we have to help them to show them how stupid this religion is how in the world somebody want to convince me by making an article that Allah is God, but yet Allah, he provide me vagina in heaven. Allah is the God. What kind of God 
He will give me a refrigerator in my heaven. I open it, I find 80,000 boys there, and they are naked and handsome and beautiful. 80,000 females. Women you can see through their bones. Endless penis. A penis who never sleep. This is God. So they try to fool you about, okay, Allah is the almighty God. He is the creator of the universe. But they will not tell you how stupid this religion is and how stupid what they call God. Anybody have a God, he think he is the creator. Anyone who have a religion, he think that his religion is the only true one. But I never saw, I never heard of any cult equal to the stupidity of Islam. Same time is equal to the ugliness of Islam. Because Islam not only based on superstition stories and fictions and madness and funny thing, it's based on evil. Even sexuality is evil. Child molestation is lawful in Islam. Killing is lawful. Cutting hands is lawful. Crucifying people is lawful. You will see some stupid atheist. He says, I see nothing wrong with Islam. The first one, the first thing will happen to you if Muslims took over, it's you to die. This is how stupid you are when you say to me, I see nothing wrong with Islam. Because according to Islam, Christians and Jews, they will be given the opportunity to stay alive if they pay the jizya. But you as an atheist, you have to put to death. You as a Hindu, you have to put to death. This is what Islam teach. You, if you as a Buddha, you have to be put into death. You will see someone, he is a gay, holding a flag and going with the Muslims in the street, respect Islam, stop the Islamophobia. This is how stupid the West is. So we have to work together to expose this filthy cult. At the end, I want to ask everybody to download, to share with us, to share what we do. And uh, don't hesitate always to offend because people, they don't want you to offend supposedly. And they say to you, if you offend, you are no Christian. That is a false teaching of Christ and never exist. Christ, he offended everybody. He offended the Jews, he offended the Roman, he offended even me and you when he rebuked us for our sin. If nobody will offend nobody, who is going to tell the truth? The truth always comes with something called, I, you offend someone. The second you say it, you are offending someone. A person who always agree with you, obviously he is a hypocrite. A person who say I respect Islam, he is no Christian. For two reasons. You just said you respect a cult you don't believe in. So you are a hypocrite, obviously. Why you don't believe in Islam if you don't if you respect it? You, you just you respect it's a good religion then. What respect mean? What respect mean? And why in the world you want to respect satanic religion, praise criminals, ask people to chop the head of each other, kidnap women and rape them, having sex with the children, cutting hands, and do circumcision for women vagina so they will not enjoy sex. What kind of person you are to say I respect Islam? Unless you are sick-minded or hypocrite all the way deep to your bones. I don't respect Islam. And I will never respect neither Muhammad, neither what they call him God, Allah, neither the Quran, neither the Hadith, neither every teaching written in this cult. The second I say I respect Islam, that means I am a false hypocrite man. You should not listen to me and you should not even stay in my page for a second. This is why you see Muslims they praise someone like James White for he's a hypocrite. He respect. And this is the difference between us and false Christians. 
we we as a Christians we should not respect anything false when you respect a false teaching as if you are saying to me I respect the devil for all lies come from him he is the father of all lies and you are saying to a Muslim I respect your lies I respect your belief in the lies I respect you believe in a child molester a criminal how dare you thank you everybody for believing on the truth and thank you everybody for leaving the lies and thank you Lord for providing us with a brain to use and the truth will set us free the Messiah he said and there's no words after his words I am the light of the world and each time I read his statements in the Bible I found that really he is the truth and he is the light of the world yesterday I have a conversation with two ex-muslims one of them is a Shia lady she have uh, she is from a family who her uh, brother is a big sheikh in Hezbollah and we have like a conversation maybe for I don't know how many hours everything we have is far beyond anything to compare with she was amazed how stupid Islam is she could not believe unless I show her that in the front of her I always like everything I say I show her I search for the reference she speak Arabic very well she is Lebanese as I said her family are very big Shia family in, in in Lebanon and her brother is a big sheikh in Hezbollah she saw it with her own eyes and she confessed that there is no God but Jesus and there is no truth but him and she agreed that Islam is extremely satanic and it's stupid and she was saying to me I don't believe how I, I was a stupid to believe in this I met with a Jordanian uh, ex-Muslim he's an old man he's maybe 70 years old I'm not sure very well educated and if you hear him maybe one day I can have him to to join me I don't know even if he use computer uh, if he is here he, you know you, you will you will uh, you will see how much in this person inside his heart how much sorrow he have for the Muslims his people because he's he's one of them he grew up in a Muslim family and you know the second you listen to him he is so sad for the Muslims how they can believe in such a stupid cult thank you everybody for being here thank you for those who help me and support me in everything you do whatever you do may the Lord bless you and don't forget to tell people about my books you can search always my books in amazon.com you just type Christian Prince or if you are in Germany amazon.de you type Christian Prince if you are in France amazon.fr etc you will find my books always by typing my name and I am a Christian Prince. I love you all and I miss you all. I hope soon I will be back to the state and we start taking calls again. Until then, I say may the Lord bless and see you soon. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And take care. Bye-bye.